So how old were you when you first first met? Was it at 11 when you went to kind of Frank Seeley or did you know each other before uh, then? No, it was around that, but we didn't really know each other for a few years. Did you do that thing of not really liking each other at first? We hated like each other. Like 14, 15. We were like rivals. Yeah. Kind of like sworn rivals. For the, um, the soccer team. Soccer team rivals. I was always like unscrewing the lids of salt pots so that when they tried to salt their food, all the salt would go everywhere. Yeah. That, was, that was my trick. Mm. I, was, I was always like letting all the air out the footballs as well so they couldn't do a kick about. Yeah. Such a crazy cat. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I didn't know Lucy existed until about two weeks before she was in the band. Um, <laughs> we just went to the same school and everything, but she just evaded me. The thing that it, I think some people are intrigued by, though, is how the, the three of you started, because Lucy, as you said, was relatively new to you. You two were mates, stroke bullies, stroke mm. arch enemies. Mm. Where, where, did, where did you appear from? I came out the ground. Yeah. With a bass in your hands? No. We liked Lucy's hair, okay. so we gave her a bass guitar and told her to play Crying Lightning, and she played it. I did. And then that was, that was the test, and she was in. If she didn't, if she wanted or not, you know, she had to be in the band. And that's the thing, she didn't, you didn't play bass that time. It's like, you've got cool hair, you can yeah, play she, bass. No, she didn't, I don't think she'd ever touched a guitar. I, I touched a guitar. Oh, yeah. I handed one to my stepdad once. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great day. But apart from that, And then nothing. I knew. And then I somebody gave me a bass. And now I'm here. Yeah. I suppose you could sing as well, that was part of the reason. Oh yeah, I could also sing. That's probably it. But they held that back for a while, didn't really use your vocals. It's really hard to sing and play at the same time when you first Particularly start. bass, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. Rhythm and so singing. Long. Like, can you manage this as well? He looks all his baggage to himself He sticks him to the surface that he knows Unmovable and perfectly at home in a spiral His skin is smoothly and jagged bone He can never reach the places that he likes to go You wonder why he's always sad at Towards the end of 2011, you do the music Dog Is Dead thing, and that's how you meet Paul K from Left Lion, your number one super fan. Well, maybe with Tom over there, and uh, Mr. Fletcher, Pete Fletcher. Yeah. that's oh, got to be quite father, a key moment. Father of the band. Yeah, yeah. father. Is he the dad? He's the artist. Yeah, for right. sure. So Pete, he he's kind of he basically signed you manager-wise, and also well, producer, recorder, he, dad, at, everything. At first, I don't think he was there to try and sign us or anything. I think he just really liked. Very concrete. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and he just, I think he just guided us, and he had this first love studios, um, and he was kind enough to let us use. P Fletcher. Ooh. Oh, it's early. <laughs> Love you, really. An old memory, long yeah. gone. It's in Scotland now. So he let us use the studios, and he recorded bits for us. And I think if we didn't have him there, we would have gone off on a completely different path. Um, so yeah, God bless him. After a few years, when he decided that we were. A lot less Mardi. <laughs> he um, offered us like, yeah, he wanted to manage us with Dennis and, yeah. uh, and we had no other option, so he said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 2012 though, that you were almost like dating from a better Me expression. And Pete. Yeah, as a band and him, and he was like, we'd like to help you, and you guys, well, I'm not sure, and you, oh, yeah, the you Mardi take, bit. You take, you take us out for meals. Yeah, and yeah, stuff exactly. Like, Do you know what I mean? It was it's courting a bit, us, wasn't it? Exactly, <laughs> it's like dating. Very <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All three of you at the same time. I mean, what a player. How was that Rock City show? I mean, I remember you guys being pretty well, hyper at that. Shocking. I imagine yeah. we'd played like, a pub and the maze before we played that yeah. show or something like that. I was so scared. Um, and you were like 15, 16 at that point. Yeah. I was the youngest person to play Rock City. I remember you shouting that stat quite loudly several times. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know I was the youngest person to play Rock City? I hadn't played yet. <laughs> I'm the youngest person who's about to play Rock City. <laughs> Come on. What, was that just another, uh, you know, the first fun night or, or did that have an element of thinking, right, this is something we could do, um, we want to do? Yeah, it was definitely one of the moments that added to the thought that we could maybe take this more seriously and try and pursue it a bit more. But yeah, it was just a bunch of fun at the time. Just like, yeah. we didn't think that it would necessarily lead to anything else. Um, we just made the most of most of it. He stands at the door and looks outside. A flood of anger slowly fills his mind. Disgust that he turns back and goes inside another time. He goes to the kitchen and he cries. With shaking hands, he grabs the mirror's knife. Let's out of breath as this sinks in his side. Oh, what a mess. Yeah.
as, as a fan of the band, as someone who's seen you since the early days, one of the things that stood out about you guys was every six months you seemed to write another great new song. I guess like, we were probably writing the whole time. And I think in that time, Pete, we did quite a bit of recording with Pete. Um, so like Adjust The Way, which is like track two, um, that recording is pretty much what we recorded in 2013 or 2012 or whatever damn year it was. I don't remember writing, but I don't re ever remember writing a, a song really. It's just at one point there is the, a song there now and I don't know how we got there. A lot of stuff got written in the studio though, didn't it, with Pete? Like when we took it in with Pete, he'd help kind of like craft it a oh, bit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. 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 We did, we, yeah, yeah. We didn't write them all. <laughs> no, Pete was good at. Pete's really, really helps us. Um, taught us that less is more, and you don't need all that fancy stuff. <laughs> you don't need a synth. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> but what he taught us then has really stuck, and it's kind of the formula for how we write songs now. Um, yeah, it doesn't need to be more than four minutes long. So 2014, things start to get serious. In the middle of the year, you signed to legendary Nottingham label Earache. How did the build up to that happen? What was going um, on in early 2014? Well, loads of chunks of tours that we did, like a lot of life. two shows with Witches here and there, and then two shows with Drenge here and there. Yeah, we started making Stuff friends in like 2014, I think. Mm -hmm. Before then, we kind of. Bunch of losers, <laughs> bunch of loaders. Yeah, we didn't really have any, have any, have any band buddies. Talk to me about your record, guys. Oh, look at the You've got a debut yeah. album. Yeah. Sweet, sweet it's little yellow. It's got right. a bit of red on it. First off, how do we pronounce this thing? Earth. <coughs> Earth. <coughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Like you got like a. No, Is that why in Soundcheck they were making you do the evil laughs? Earth. Yeah. Earth. Yeah. Mm. You gotta choke a little bit when you say it. Yeah. It's like an animal sound slash choking sound. We've got a few songs that we all know and love already from old school like Made of Concrete through to relatively new ones like Glue. But there's a few on there I've never heard of. <sighs> really? Could go some of them Green Beefo. Hey? Some of them we kind of finished and wrote in the studio, and some of them aren't even in the live set yet, so there's no way you'll have heard them, but you might hear them soon. So how many of the 11 tracks have you not even played live yet? Two. Two. Which are? Uh, Damp Sand and Open Mouth. Okay. Saving, saving for the right time. Um, so, out, what's going to happen in the autumn? Lots of touring, lots of gigs? Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be leaving the country Bye-bye England and doing some shows around here. Temporarily got, or, or forever? Forever, hopefully. Okay. Probably not, though. Um, yeah, we've got a show with Mets in Dusseldorf, which is quite exciting. And that's like, yes, and um, New York as well. Whoa. Going to the States, baby. Wow. There, there's so many times where it's like, oh, that's it for me now. I've achieved everything I want to achieve. And then, then I get told I'm going to America. Actually, no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Let's keep going. Um, Luke is like, show me the Big Mac and I'll be happy. I'm so excited. I've heard the chips are great over there. Thank <laughs> you.